Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Dr. Shahan's class and here in this video I will teach you about progeria. So what is this progeria? Progeria is a specific kind or type of progeroid syndrome. It is known as Hutchinson Guilford syndrome. Hutchinson Guilford syndrome. So what are the symptoms that are present in Hutchinson Guilford syndrome or progeria. So the symptoms can be baldness, alopecia. So you will see alopecia and you will see large head. The head becomes very large and you will see prominent eyes. And how is the nose? The nose is long, thin, beaked nose. So you can find long, thin and beaked nose. And how is the skin? wrinkled skin how is the skin wrinkled skin and how is the jaw small jaw small jaw so all these features basically you can find out in a progeria patient so you will see a bald patient you will see a a kind of alopecia alopecia is there and you will see long thin nose wrinkled skin uh, small jaw and large head patient and basically these patients also have some specific cardiovascular complications and other complications scleroderma that is also present in this patients basically so let us know about the genes what is affected in this condition what is the gene that is affected the gene is lamine a what is the name of the gene lamine a lamine a lamine a is the gene and it is a single gene that is affected. A single gene known as lamine A is affected and it is known as LMNA, LMNA, okay. And this gene when it's affected, it actually uh, makes a protein, this gene actually makes a protein and that protein is necessary for holding the nucleus cell together. So, for holding the nucleus together, for holding the nucleus of the cell together, this protein is necessary which is coded by this gene known as lamine A. Now, when this gene lamine A is defective, then we get abnormal gene, abnormal lamine A. And this abnormal lamine A actually produce a kind of defective nucleus. I will show you the picture of the defective nucleus which is there in case of the progeria patient. You can see the left side picture. The left side is the normal cell nucleus. The left side is normal cell nucleus. And what is on the right side? The right side is mutant cell nucleus. Mutant cell nucleus. Mutant cell nucleus in case of progeric cell in case of the progeria patient the progeric cells has mutant cell nucleus see how the nucleus has carved how the nucleus has clumped together this is actually because there is mutant gene the gene has been mutated what gene mutated lamine a i already told you about lamine a that is the gene the single gene which is mutation, single gene mutation occurs in progeria and because of that you always get a, a, a crumpled like nucleus you can see. And what happens to the patients uh, who have progeria? Basically these patients uh, with progeria they typically live at the age till the age of mid teens and they live till the age of early 20s. So basically these patients with progeria, they die in their teens, they die uh, 13, 14, 15, in that age, they generally die. After some patient also live beyond 13 years of age, but generally in the mid teens, uh, around the age of 13, they generally die. But some patient, they may live till the early 20s, early 20s, they may live like 21, 22 they may live. So generally, these patients live uh, mid-teens to early 20s. And you can see this picture. This picture is actually showing you the Bollywood movie. The Bollywood movie known as the Pa. You know this Bollywood movie? This is on the progeria. This is on progeria. Okay. And you, you can see Amitabh Bachchan who is, uh, uh, who is on the shoulder of Abhishek Bachchan. 
and he is actually uh, depicting the character of the progeria. He is depicting the character of progeria. You can see how progeric patients looks. He has a bald head. He has large head and beaked nose. Large head, beaked nose. I already told you. And how will be the skin? The skin will be wrinkled. The patient will look like a very young patient, but the patient will look very aged. The patient will look very aged. Young patient, but look very aged. And when you look at the skin, sometimes you will find scleroderma also, I already told you. And these patients also have some cardiac complication, I already told you. Now, is there any treatment for this patient? Basically, progeria has no cure. Remember, progeria has no cure. Research are going on to develop any kind of drug which may act against progeria. Basically, research is going on. But in November 2020, the US uh, Food and Drug Administration, they actually approved a drug. And the name of the drug is Lonafarnib. The name of the drug is Lonafarnib. Lonafarnib is the name of the drug. And what, uh, what this drug do? Basically, this drug prevent the buildup of the defective progerin and similar proteins. Basically, what happens? This defective progerin proteins build up in the body. So, this drug prevent it. So, this is the end of this video on progeria. If you like this video, make a thumbs up and please subscribe this channel, Dr. Shahan's class. This channel is the only channel which contains so many disease videos. All are for free. This channel is made only for helping MBBS students, medical students across the globe. So if you are studying MBBS, if you are studying about diseases, please subscribe this channel. Thank you.